Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new day and welcome back to the channel. I'm a mess right now. Uh, it's morning, just rolling out of bed. It's about 64 degrees, storming. Um, yeah, I'm in the back of the truck right now. I was just going to show you uh, my view when I get up and I open the back hatch. And also my setup when I go to sleep in here, what I have in here. But yeah, we're not going to be doing much today. It's going to be storming. It started last night when I went to bed and it was super windy last night. We have our canopy up, so I was keeping a close eye on that. It was blowing pretty good, but it never uh, blew away. Thank God. So <laughs> I thought I was going to have to go outside and chase it. But it was super windy and then it started storming real bad this morning thunder uh, some lightning pounding rain but yeah yeah uh, probably cook breakfast in the trailer I'll probably uh, I have to go pee so I have to go pee in the trailer but I just wanted to say good morning and let me show you my setup in here all right so if I'm laying down this is my view through the back window of the truck. That's what I love about being in the back of the truck is with all the windows back here, I have such a beautiful view when I wake up. So that's the back window view. And then that's the side window view. And there's the other side. So yeah. But that's my favorite view right there. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's raining a little bit right now. Not too bad right now. It was really coming down earlier. It's actually uh, supposed to stop raining about the noon hour. But, but let me just uh, show you what I got here. This is... As I enter the back of the truck, this would be the back window, the tailgate right here. I usually climb in through the tailgate. I don't put it down and then climb in. I just step on top and then climb in. But you can see I have an extension cord coming in. And that is because with the temperature changes at this time of the uh, year, I don't know if I'll need a fan or a heater. So coming down this side here, this is just nothing down there. But over here on this side, I have a fan and a little heater. So the extension cord is to plug in that little heater if I need to. So last night I didn't know which I needed. I actually didn't need either one last night because I had both windows cracked open and with all the wind, it was, it kept it nice enough in here. It wasn't like super cold where I needed the heater or anything. Um, and my sleeping bag is a zero degree sleeping bag. So if I'm underneath the sleeping bag, it keeps me super warm. And I'm wearing long pajama pants this time because last week I wore shorts and it was really cold at night. I get a really good... Uh, you can see out of the corner there, the tailgate, I would get some uh, good cold air coming through here. So so I brought the heater this, well, I had the heater. I just brought in an extension cord this time and wore long pajama pants. But coming back to this side of the truck, uh, the heater and the fan were on the opposite side. But this side, the mattress, this is the platform right here. This is the platform, and this is how much room is left after the mattress covers the rest. And I use this for, like, foot room and placing some of my items on. Um, at the end, I usually just keep my sandals. There's my hoodie on the ledge there. I have a thermocell. And that's for the mosquitoes and flies. Um, what I do is I turn that on uh, probably about an hour before I come to bed. And I'll, I'll leave the windows open for ventilation so it's not all smoky when I come in here. 
and that'll pretty much uh, do away with any mosquitoes and bugs or flies and stuff in here before I come to bed. So, and then I always have that little light there. So at night when I come in, I just got to turn that on. So yeah, that's the back. This would be my feet area here. All right, so I'm going to turn it around and get on this side of the bed so I can show you uh, the other half. All right, so this is looking at the opposite end, which is where I would lay my head when I go to sleep. And I like having two pillows because when I come in at night, usually the first thing I do is uh, lean the pillows up against the window and I just sit there and just kind of look outside. Uh, there's a light on the water over there, so it just lights up the water. I just kind of like to look around outside. Kind of a peaceful um, kind of feeling before I go to bed. But I don't really go to bed because I don't sleep much that night. <laughs> I just can't fall asleep. So, all right. This is, again, the platform. And first off over here, this is my camera bag. And then I have a little uh, plastic container here. And that carries uh, my mini disc. I have a mini disc player. And I just brought some with me. I bring USB charging cords. Things like that. I have a tablet there. Uh, if I download any movies to watch from like Amazon, Amazon Video. And it is actually on a stand. This is the stand it's on. And it goes higher. So all I would have to do is... Oop, oop, I would just have to raise it. And I could put it on the platform and... That's all I need to be able to watch it. It's just a good angle. All right, so this would be next to my sleeping area. And it's basically a charging station slash electronic station. More like for music and things like that. I like to listen to music a little bit when I go to bed. Um, some peaceful music. It helps me fall asleep sometimes. So over there I got my journal. I got a plastic bag for garbage. Like if I bring in snacks during the night, uh, I have a plastic bag for garbage to put it in. But I have my camera here. And I'm keeping this camera out. And it's a good thing because like yesterday when we were sitting outside, a uh, belted kingfisher flew in the tree over there. So I was able to just grab it and take some video. And this morning when I woke up and opened the uh, back hatch of the the back hatch window there uh egret flew onto the grass over there so i was able to get some video of that quickly so i usually just bring in a drink my cup this is my little bose speaker and this is my mini discman and like last night i would have listened to native american music which is very peaceful to me and then i also have music on here just different kinds of music this is an old mp3 player i got years ago and it still works great so last night i was listening to music from that and then i have two-way radio docking station so i have that plugged in for charging i always carry a little light over here um Oops, sorry. <laughs> it just, I can keep it on red to uh, keep the bugs from being attracted to the light. I got charging cords there, and I keep a Jackery 1000 here. Uh, we have two of them. The other one stays in the trailer, and that powers our refrigerator while we're in travel. But it's got three 110 outlets. It's got four USBs. Uh, 12 volt which is a cigarette lighter and so yeah I keep this in here to charge my stuff right now I have the radio docking station plugged in to keep the radios charged and today um, since I have the extension cord over here I'll get the power pack for the Jackery 
just run it to the I don't without moving the jackery itself it'll reach all the way to the back of the truck there and I can just plug it in so it'll charge it up but that's pretty much my setup here you can see fan heater I even got a fly swatter over here in case those little damn flies want to bug around got my light up here so I got plenty of lights up in here um there's a total of three lights in here. And that's pretty much all I need. I'd like to actually do something else for this bag. So I, it gives me a little bit of more foot room when I'm sitting up on the mattress. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I only hang out in here when I go to sleep. Um, sometimes during the daytime, if nothing's going on and you want to take, if I, we want to take a nap, I'll just crawl in here. If it's not too hot if it's too hot i won't <laughs> but yeah that's my uh that's the truck camper setup and that's it so all right i'm gonna climb out of here get some breakfast going so we can eat so i hope you enjoyed this little video it's just a short one to show you the truck camper setup so Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I appreciate all your support. And we're going to enjoy the rest of our camping trip. I'll do more short videos uh, during the trip. And with that, live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.